Hey, good morning, everybody. It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, back with you again. I previously did a review of the cheetahs, the dunk lows. It was part of the animal pack that just dropped not too long ago on sneakers and some other retailers. After I got the cheetahs, I liked them so much. I've been watching the zebras, you know, the price and everything, and I ended up grabbing a pair of those off a of goat and I would like to get into them with you. So this is what I already had, and I will link this review in the description. Love these shoes. And this is what we're looking at today. And right off the bat, I, I think I like these just as much. But I'd also like to hear your opinion on which one of these you think is better and which one you think would be easier to rock. So let me know down in the comments which one of these you prefer. Let me know if you were able to grab one of them or both of them or if you're going to try to grab one of them. But real quick, before we get to the kicks, if this is your first time here, welcome. Bread and Butter is a new channel and we're growing real quick. We're right around a thousand subscribers, so if you would like to join in on the fun, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoy this video, help me out with a thumbs up. That'll help other people see it, and that'll help my channel grow faster. But let's look at these wild animals. All right, so to start it off, no big surprise here. It's a Nike Dunk Low. Comes in a standard Nike Dunk box. This is exactly what the box for the cheetahs look like, and just about every other Dunk that I've got recently. The tag reads Nike Dunk Low Retro Premium. The colors are black, pure platinum, and anthracite. This is a size 10 personal pair. Retail price on these was only 110, and I spent more than that on GOAT. That's all I have to say about that. I first saw the Cheetahs, which were set to release the same time as these, and I bought the cheetahs before I even realized that it was half of the animal pack. I got the cheetahs initially off a of goat before they dropped in the US and then I entered for both pair on my sneakers account and my wife did on her sneakers account and she ended up hitting for a pair of the cheetahs. So I ended up with two pair of them. and. Fortunately, I have a buddy who helps me. Shout out to Silent Z. He's hooked me up with pairs of shoes before at a decent price, and this time I was able to kind of split the difference of what I had into the Cheetahs and hook him up with a pair of them. So it's good to help buddies out, you know? These things are sharp. These things are really, really sharp. Very unique, but I think they'll be really easy to style with and materials seem just as good as the cheetahs which i was a big fan of so i'm pumped about that i love this pure platinum outsole and the pure platinum swoosh i guess that's also the color of the sock liner and the stitching on the tag i think there's a light gray color the pure platinum just goes perfect with the rest of the shoe i really like the way it all comes together but it's your standard don't tread pattern nothing out of the ordinary the midsole is bright white and it has bright white stitching and then as we get to the mug guard then we see this awesome awesome suede again much like the cheetahs not super soft or anything but it's a nice hairy suede you get a lot of movement out of it I don't know if that translates on camera but I'm seeing it change a lot of colors with direction so it's definitely a quality material not super soft you know it's kind of I guess it's like a medium length but I just think these shoes will hold up really well. It's a nice thick cuts on the panels, which I always appreciate. And I love this design. You can just faintly see, you know, like zebra stripes. That's 
it's the animal pack they call this one the zebra and that's why you can see these faint stripes going through here and i like that it's not loud like black and white stripes i like that it's toned down a little bit and it's this anthracite color in black it just it looks really really good but you've got this suede on the mug guard going up the eye stays and then wrapping around the back of the shoe And much like the cheetahs, these just came together really, really clean. They look great. I don't see a whole lot of flaws. I don't see a whole bunch of glue or I don't see sloppy threading or, you know, the, the usual stuff that you might get on like a GR Nike Dunk Low release. But then underneath this really nice suede, you've got a a really nice feeling black leather and once again the quality of this leather i i can best relate it to the leather on the notre dunks it feels like the same type of grade nice and heavy but very very soft it's it's nice these are really really nice materials and i love it whenever nike puts some effort into a special release like this but you've got this nice black leather on the toe box and then on both of the side panels. And as I noted before, you've got that pure platinum color for both the swooshes. And then on the heel tab up here at the ankle, you've got that pure platinum. And it looks like the threading is also pure platinum, but it's kind of shimmery. It just looks nice and clean. I love it. It's not too much. A lot of times animal print is a little, you know, loud and busy, but not in this case. I think these are done just perfectly. The tongue is a black nylon tongue, and they gave us some black laces. These almost look like they're like wax laces, but I don't think they are. I think they're just flat laces, but looks good. And it looks like we've got some pure platinum piping, which is this light gray color that goes around this black nylon tongue. And a black tag with more of that pure platinum threading for the Nike verbiage. The sock liner is pure platinum and the insole is black with pure platinum Nike branding. And all together, I just think they're dope. I think they're a great looking shoe. I don't know if I have a favorite. Before I got these, I thought just by pictures that the cheetahs were my favorite. But now it's not so easy to, to pick a winner out of the two. And while I've got them here, I'll just do a little bit of a side by side. Like I said, I don't really have a favorite, but I think just depending on the outfit, if I'm wearing something with browns or khakis or tans, then I think the Cheetos will be an excellent choice. 